hello guys welcome back in this kick php video tutorial we are going to learn how we can connect the view and the controller so in the last video we are just learned how we create the routes so let's continue with the view so first of all uh, as per the last video we have to create the new route so for that just go to your route file and here just create a new route like uh, i want to create the contactors contactor space is my contact route name and the second parameter in the array should be the name of controller this is the contact Oops. and the action name should be the function name so we can put the display function uh, name as a display all right so after that uh, just go create a new controller with the name of contact controller so just go to the src folder and here just find the controller and create a file name with the contact controller dot php and it should be the camel case as per the PRC standard. So uh, after the controller, uh, just uh, get the code from the paste controller and paste here and change the controller name also. It's same as the class name. All right. So the function name should be display according to the route. All right. So after that, uh, everything is fine. We have to create the template for this also. For the template, uh, go to the template folder with the create a new folder inside this. Second is the contact door. All right. And inside here, just create the file name same name as the action to ctp so here we have to use the controller name this is the contact all right so now just hit the browser and see is there any kind of error or it's working fine all right so it's a blank for now so just go to the display file and here just write something whatever you want like contact base so just reload the screen and you can see that we got the controller name here so let's once again revise what we did in this video so first of all just create the controller uh, first of all just create the router here with the name of connect and pass the controller name and the action name here and then define the controller with the camel case of same as the class name and the file name which is the control contact controller and inside you can make a function and it function should be defined in the action also so you can see that we define the action in the route also all right after that just go to the template folder and here the create a new folder same name as the controller name which is the contact and create the file name with the display.ctp name because this is a function name so this is a whole procedure to create the view so now how we can pass some data from controller to uh, display.ctp file function so just take some data like data equal to hello view all right and here just write the this underscore set and pass first name should uh, first parameter should be string and 
second parameter is the data that you want to pass so let's see is there any kind of error there is no error now just go to the display dot ctp file write your php tag here and echo dollar dollar data and let's control it so you can see that we got the data here so uh, there is one thing that you have to think that we uh, we can use the uh, string in the controller that will be make the variable name in the display.ctp function like i just use the new data here so if you are going to print the old older one data here it will give you the error so you have to use the new data as a variable name and then it will work fine all right so thanks guys thanks for watching this video and don't forget to subscribe our channel and if you have any kind of question query and query don't forget to put in the comment box and you can find our facebook uh, link in the description box thanks guys thanks for watching this video